Hello, this week's video is all about colour and one colour in particular. Now you might get a clue from what I'm wearing. The colour I'm talking about is green. Green um, sometimes has a little bit of a bad rap because um, some people think of it as unlucky. But I love green and um, actually I would say that this season it is probably the colour of the season. I've just put together a new ebook which is part of my Step Out in Style um, programme which I've released for the end of lockdown and for us having a lot more freedom. Um, I will put a link to that in the description box and I'll tell you a little bit about that um, later on. But um, green is one of the colours that I feature in there because there does seem to be an awful lot of it around this season. In particular, greens that are kind of um, sagey, minty and um, sort of soft, dusky greens. But there are lots of brighter emerald greens as well. So I wanted to give you some ideas of um, A, which greens will suit you and B, how to wear them. So um, if that's something that you would like to know, stay tuned. So first of all, let's have a look at all the different greens that you could wear. Now, um, there's loads here. I don't know how many swatches I've got here, but probably about 20, 20 different greens. So if you think there isn't a green for you, um, think again, because there is. So. Um, green really falls into, I would say, two main categories. There are the autumnally greens, which tend to be better on a warm skin tone, which I am. And then there are the more sort of cool sea greens, which tend to be better on um, people with cool skin tones. So if you're somebody who's got cool colouring or a cool skin tone and you think that um, green isn't for you, there are some greens in here that will work for you. So um, let's have a look at the different dominant types. I'm going to slot in pictures as I go through just so that um, perhaps you can identify yourself with one of them if you don't know which dominant type you are. And if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as dominant um, types are concerned, I'll pop another video in here which um, gives you a lot more information about how to discover which is your dominant type. So first of all, for our light lady, who you can see here, now she's going to look much better in lighter greens because anything too dark is going to overpower her. So if I put a dark olive on her, it's going to see the colour rather than her face and it's going to drain her face. So a couple of good sort of greeny colours that I would put on here on her is something like an icy green if she's got a cool skin tone or perhaps a minty green if she's um, got a warmer skin tone. Things like a yellow um, green, this light yellow green would work on her as well. And um, some of the sea greens as well, this kind of sea green would be really pretty on her if she had a cool skin tone. If she had a warm skin tone, then something like a sage green or a, a light moss colour. So they're all really good colours that would work on somebody who has light colouring. Now, if you've got the opposite to that, so if you've got um, deep colouring, so you're either going to have black or dark brown hair, dark brown eyes, um, you could have an olive skin tone, you could have a black skin tone. So um, for that kind of dark colouring, and I've popped a, a couple of ladies in here to show you deep colouring, now they're going to want to look for greens that are um, dark, obviously, to complement their skin tone. They can wear a light green, but what they would really want to do is mix that with a darker one as well. So the deep dark olives are going to look really good on them. And also something like this dark forest green would be great. Something like um, an olive is good as well. But they could also go into some of those sort of brighter, stronger greens as well. So something like the um, Kelly green. They can go into some of those more sort of emeraldy greens as well. So something like this fern green would look really good on them. Um, if they've got a, 
a deep and a warm skin tone, then um, this deep evergreen colour would work too. Also something like this that goes into a sort of almost um, tealy dark green, so a sort of pine green as well. And then for those of you who are warm, so I'm going to pop a warm lady in here, I tend to have sort of reddish hair, you might have freckles, you could have green eyes, you could have um, blue eyes, but for a warm skin tone you're going to be better in those um, much sort of warmer and these tend to be more the autumnal greens. So um, something like um, olive is going to be great, um, a mossy green is going to be really good as well, um, a lime green looks really good and then if you are warm but you've got um, a lighter complexion then something like the light moss would work really well as well and you can see those colours together are great on a warm person. Now I can get away with these as well because I do have a warm skin tone. Now I did say that if you have cool colouring you can wear green as well. But your greens want to be as far away from those sort of warm autumnal greens as possible. So for you, think about the kind of greens that you see in the sea. So something like um, this true green would work well on you. Also um, an icy green, if you're cool in colouring then icy colours work really well on you and they work really well in contrast. So if you put say an, a lighter icy green with this darker true green, that's a really nice combination for you. And then another one that would work really well for you, if your hair has gone really white and you've actually got quite a light skin tone as well, then um, this light sea green and the icy green would be better on you than those darker, stronger greens. And then moving on to um, the bright lady, I'm just going to slot a picture in here. Now our bright lady has a lot of contrast going on between her hair, her skin and her eyes. So she'll have quite dark hair, but quite bright eyes and a light skin. And so the greens that she can wear need to be sort of clear, strong, bright greens and she needs some contrast. And again, she will look better in those more sort of emerald greens, the sea greens, but they need to be greens that don't have any softness to them. She needs these lovely sort of bright greens to really enhance her look and bring out her eyes. So um, something like what we call Kelly Green, named after Grace Kelly. Um, emerald green works really well as well and there is lots of these kind of colours in the shops. I know for a fact that LK Bennett has it, um, some shoes in this colour so um, you will find them in the shops this season and again that true green works on somebody who's clear with a cool skin tone and they can also wear this mint green as well and this kind of contrasting look is perfect for them so if you wear this sort of clear um, darker green then mix it with something like your lighter green or even mix it with white or um, you can also mix it with your black as well because the clear lady can wear black and then last of all is the lady who has soft colouring and with soft colouring, there's the complete opposite to that lady who has the clear bright colouring. There's not a lot of contrast going on. So her hair, her skin and her eyes have a lovely blend to them. And so that's how she looks best wearing her colours, blended and muted. So almost if you imagine that a piece of fabric has left been left out in the sun and it's faded a little bit and those are the colours that work brilliantly on her. I call them the Armani colours because he does tend to design in these lovely soft colours. So something like an olive green, if you've got darker hair then the olive green will work well on you. If you're not as dark then perhaps go for something that's more like this sort of softer grey green, a little bit lighter. Also that light moss, so if you compare that to say um, the lime, there's a big difference there in what we call the clarity. The lime is quite a bright colour, whereas um, this light moss is much more soft, much more muted. So a blend of those colours together would look really great. So something like um, print that's got those colours in it blended together 
is a really good look for the soft woman. She can also wear um, sage, which there has been an awful lot of sage around this season, so you're in luck there. And she can wear the light mint. So if you've got um, fair hair and perhaps have highlights, then go for those colours rather than the darker olive green. Now I'm also going to slot in um, some pictures of a few items that I found for you that are currently available and um, with those pictures I'm going to put which colouring they would suit. So if you're looking for something and you want to add some green to your wardrobe hopefully there'll be a few pieces in here that um, will work for you. Now a couple of other resources for you. I did mention at the beginning my um, Step Out in Style program. It's in three parts. The first part is an ebook, and um, it's just talking about how to update your look now that we're coming out of lockdown. You've probably been used to wearing comfortable clothes for the last almost year and a half now and um, it's sort of thinking about how can I smarten that up and step out feeling good again. So I've put in there eight key items to look out for which will immediately update your wardrobe and this isn't about going out and buying a whole new wardrobe of clothes, it's just about putting in a couple of key pieces that will update your look and bring you up to date but without obviously making you a fashion victim. I've also put in there some of the key colours that you will find around this season. Now, at the beginning of the season, I do tell you about the Pantone colours, but we can't always find those in the shops. There tend to be some kind of breakout trend colours that you see everywhere. And as I've mentioned, I think green is one of those this season. So I've also put in there a couple of other colours, um, which you will find in abundance in the shops. And also some information about pastels, which have been big this season. Um, if pastels aren't for you, then there is also a trend towards some bold colour as well. So I've put a couple of those in. And um, a final trend, which I will keep as a surprise if you um, download the ebook. So that's the first part of it. That little ebook is just seven pounds. It's packed with information and um, there's lots for you to sort of sit down and sit and, and have a look through and see how you could update your wardrobe. The second part of the programme, if you want to take it a little bit further, is to get a bit of personalised help. And with that, you get the ebook that is in the first part, or what I'm calling the silver package. The gold package includes the ebook, but it also includes a personalised colour update. So I will put in there 10 great colours for you personally for the season. So how you can update your wardrobe this season with 10 colours that you will find in the shops. And also, if like me, you've got the grey coming through and you haven't had a chance to get to the hairdresser or you've decided that you don't want to, then um, it will tell you how to adapt your colours a little bit to suit that, that grey colouring as well. And then the third part of it, if you decide you want even more help, is what I'm calling the Platinum Package. It includes the first two parts, but it also includes um, a six item capsule wardrobe. So these will be six pieces, um, four clothing items and two accessories that are going to update your wardrobe. And um, I put together a little bit clip for you with those items, showing you how to wear them, how to create um, outfits with them, and then the links for you to go direct to buy them. And it's completely personalized to you. So it will suit your coloring, it will suit your body shape, it will suit your lifestyle, um, and it will suit other things that you might already have in your wardrobe. So if you're interested in any of that, there is a link in the description box for you. If you've got any questions, then leave me a comment. And the second resource that I wanted to tell you about was if you have never had colour analysis and it's something that you think you would like to do or perhaps you have and your colours have changed over the years or perhaps you've never felt comfortable with the colours that you originally had, I do have quite a different approach to doing colour analysis. I don't believe in the um, seasonal approach 
because I think it's too restrictive just to tell somebody that they're an autumn. So um, I use quite a different approach. I start with what's called the tonal system, which you would have heard me um, talking about as we went through this video, what your dominant um, tonal type is. But then I um, expand on that and I personalize it much more to you. So I actually pick a set of colors just for you um, based on your coloring, obviously, but also based on your personality because I think personality really comes into color. And the reason that I say that is, let's say you have bright coloring. So this um, clear true green is something that would be in your color palette. But perhaps even though you have bright coloring, you don't actually like bright colors. Now, although you're going to look good in them, it's important about how you feel in a color as well. So if I put that color on you, and all you can think about is that, oh gosh, I really stand out because I've got this very bright green on, then you're not going to feel good about yourself. And that projects outwards. So wearing something that you feel really good in is important. So I will tell you either how to wear this green to make it work for you, or what to replace it with that will still work for you, but that you're going to feel a lot more comfortable in. So again, if that's something that interests you, if you'd like your own personalized color palette, I will also put a link to my color guide service in the description box as well. So that was a little update on color. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that um, I always get lots of questions about color. I know that it's something that still really interests people. If there's a colour that you would like me to make a video about as well, then do leave me a comment and um, I will get around to doing that. Um, I have made a couple of others which I will link for you as well. But other than that, if you have any questions or any comments, then please do leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please do so. I try to make one video a week. It's been a little bit difficult over lockdown because I've had a family here in the way, um, but I will be getting back to that again. And if you click on the little bell, then you'll get notified every time I release a new video. And don't forget, coming up, I've got some pictures of items that are going to be perfect for you in the right greens. So um, stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.